Get over here! What's up everybody, the Green Scorpion here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play ARMS featuring the arcade mode, and today, we're actually gonna have some fun because we're going to be playing as Max Brass today. Screw you and your gelatinous crap from last episode, Helix. Oh man, I'm still not over that. I really am not. But we're not here to focus on that today. Today we're playing as this handsome dude, Max Brass. Now, as I said in the last episode, um, I, I think I remember mentioning it in the last episode. Did I? Or was that a fit? Or was that a uh, take that I took out? Well, either way, I remember mentioning it in Kid Cobras at least I think. But as you guys may know, we've been playing on five difficulty up until now. Starting with Max Brass, and for these next five characters, we're going to be playing on difficulty 6 this time. Because, um, now that we're going to be on difficulty 6, another, we're going to be uh, gaining access to another uh, boss fight later down the line. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure how well this is going to go, because level 6 gets pretty darn hard. I've done it before, but it gets pretty darn difficult, and... We'll see how this plays out with Max Brass. So, wish me luck. Here goes. This Arms Grand Prix is gonna be different, folks, because this time we're broadcasting live from our reigning champs regional tour. But don't worry, your pal Biff is still here to provide the scintillating commentary you know and love. As I'm sure you know by now, the reigning champ is our Arms League Commissioner, Max Brass. Ever since he ascended to the top spot, he's been waiting for a challenger who could take his place. But his impatience got the best of him, and he's taken matters into his own hands. What a go-getter! Will anyone out there be able to oust the champ? Let's find out! The Arms Grand Prix is about to start! The dude's 52? Goodness gracious, Max Brass, looking good! And we're starting with Springman. Yeah, from what I have to understand, he always starts with Springman. Match 1, Bob and Weave. It's Max Brass versus the Bouncer, Springman. If you think he looks hot, just wait until you get a taste of his toasters. Those flaming fists pack a powerful punch, and it's a guaranteed knockdown if one connects. I don't know, he might want to ask for his money back after he takes on Max Brass and his muscles. Alright then, so here we go. Max Brass has access to the nades, as in napalm grenades. We got the roasters, which are basically the equivalent of the toasters. And we got the kablammers. Um, I think what I'm going to do, for the most part, is I'm going to have the left arm with the roaster and the right arm with the nades. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. Let's do this. And of course, Max Brass whole thing... Whoa. Okay, yeah, just gotta get used to this again. Max Brass's whole thing is that is that super armor. All right, yeah, I gotta. Can't be uh too uh. I can't be too. Yeah, because he like di this is difficulty uh. Whoa, this is difficulty six. It's not gonna be easy. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Okay. Whoa! Wow! Okay, yeah, I can tell the difference already. Wow! Okay. Yeah, you can tell the difficulty gets insane uh, once you get past 5 and 6, so... Okay, yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, power up. Okay, power up. Here we go. Alright, there we go. We got the knockdown. Power up again. Whoa, okay, yeah, the wind's gonna the wind's a guaranteed knockdown, so. There we go. Beautiful! Alright, there we go! Here we go! Okay! Alright, yeah, just gotta just gotta get used to Max Brass because his his super armor does take time to charge. I can't just like choose when and if to uh 
I, I can't do it carelessly. That's the thing. Yes! There we go. The explosion got him out of it. Beautiful. Power up. Okay, yeah. A grab does get past it, so gotta be careful there. Beautiful. Power up. Beautiful. Oof. Nice grab. Nice grab. Go for the grab. Mm. Power up. Oof. Good one. Good one. And go for the grab, and that's it! Yeah, baby! Way to go, Max Brass! Yeah, I'm having way more fun with this dude than I did with Helix, so this is gonna be good. Alright, yeah, Max Brass is really, really fun. Um, I like the fact that, like, kind of the lore changes when you play as him because he's, the, like, the champion. So instead of, like, you know, it being a normal Grand Prix, it's basically his run at it, challenging, uh, challenging people at his own pace. Match 2, stay pumped! It's Max Brass versus the Ramen Bama Min Min! Her signature arms are dragons, but get this, her left arm actually turns into a dragon when charged. And that dragon arm can hold a continuous charge, so watch out! But who needs a scaly dragon arm when you've got pythons like these? Get her, Kamish! Oh man, I love the fact that Biff highly respects the Commissioner. Or Max Brass, as it were. Alright. Oh, yep, can't really do much against that. There we go. Okay, power up. Yeah, take advantage of the explosion radius. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. Power up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oof, nice. Nice. Power up. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Catching up with the explosion. Power up. Yeah, those heavy arms, dude. Dude, he gets really buff when, like, his size is insane when he's, like, powered up. Oh, gosh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We, we got past it. Oof. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, permanent power up. Got the grab. Boom. Dude, nice. You lose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Max Brass is fun. Max Brass is a lot of fun. I'm really liking this army mechanic. All right, power up. All right, she got the dragon power up, so be careful there. Oof, that's hot. Beautiful, beautiful. Power up. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Ugh. There we go. Huh. That was my bad. Beautiful. Got it. Got the explosion off too. Power up. You know what this kind of reminds me of, and I'll see if I can pull it off with the super. Oh, nice! The explosion got her. Beautiful, beautiful. If I can get a punish, plus ultra! <laughs> yeah! All right, Max Brass. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of... He's very much All Might-ish. Not gonna lie, I kind of like this. A lot. Alright, here we go. Misango! 
Match three, building muscle. Let's switch it up and play some skill shot. You play by smashing targets as they fly by. The more targets you can destroy in a row, the more points you can score. Your opponent will be smashing targets too, so watch out for incoming punches. Whoever racks up the highest score before time runs out, wins. Okay, let's see what you got. All right then. Uh, we're gonna stick with this, cause these are pretty relatively fast arms. Yeah, baby. Get out of here. Beautiful, beautiful. Get out of here. Beautiful! There we go! Alright, Max Brass! I love it! I love it! Let's keep it up! Mm. Pump that iron! Mm. Ooh! Brawn versus Brawn, here we go! Match 4, keep flexing! It's Max Brass versus the Grim Creeper, Master Mummy! We know he can recover health while guarding, but what other secrets might he have? Who cares? Our man Max Brass has got nothing to hide. So far as I know. <laughs> um, do you want to tell us something there, Biff? Power up. Oh, nope, nope, no power up because he's going to hit me if otherwise. There we go, there we go. Yeah, he's got flaming arms too, so like, if I get hit, I'm going to get knocked down despite the super armor. Okay, got the grab. Boom. Power up. Beautiful, there we go. Mm. Yep, that fire is gonna hit me down no matter what. Beautiful, there we go. Keep it up, Max Brass. Whoa. Dude, he gets freaking huge. Like, it's actually kind of intimidating just how big this dude is. Ugh. There we go, okay, got the knockdown. Block it up. Oh, okay. He broke, he broke one of my arms, so that's fine. Save the super for the next round. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. All right. Yo, I'm enjoying this round. I'm, but I'm really enjoying this run. Max Brass is fun. All right. Oof. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. Hmm. Ah, I couldn't punish. I, I couldn't punish the one thing, but that's fine. Okay. He's doing a really good job avoiding my punches. Hmm. Ah, uh, he might. Oh no! Mm! Oh man, he recovered all of his health with that. He's got a major lead on me now. Oh, comeback mechanic. Here we go. But again, it doesn't really matter much when he's got like those flame arms. There we go. All right. Caught him hitting something. Ah, I couldn't hit him before before he hit mine. Beautiful Max Brass. Yeah, that's a really good thing about Max Brass's uh, ability too. He gains permanent super armor and permanent charge when he's at low health. It's just like Springman's mechanic, which is interesting. Alrighty, alrighty. So far, so good. I was actually a little worried that this that this run was not gonna go all too well, considering my first round was Springman. But this is get this is fun. Match five, halfway there. It's Max Brass versus the student of Stealth Ninjara. 
Some folks fancy themselves ninjas, but have no credentials. Our boy Ninjara went to ninja school, but no amount of book learning will make him as buff as the brass. Teach him a lesson, Kamish. You're a little biased there, Biff. Like, for real though? But hey, I think he's allowed to. He, like, e even, wa even with him being the one, like, running the rounds, he is still the champion, all things considered, so. So I understand, like, maybe, like, there is at least some bias coming from Biff. Okay, there we go. Got him on the explosion. Whoa! Yeah, that's one thing Ninjara has, is that, like, really good grab. Okay, got him on the explosion. Beautiful. Power up. Yeah, he's just gonna stand there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep this up, keep this up. Oof, okay, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Power up. Get the grab, boom! It wasn't a full super, but I managed to get him. <laughs> I really like his voice too, it's just like, you lose! All right, let's keep this up. He's got his full meter, so I gotta be careful. Power up. Okay, just gain some distance, just gain some distance. Make him waste it, beautiful. Got him. Okay, get some meter. Beautiful. Yeah, use that super armor. Ugh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oof, not bad, not bad. He's bobbing and weaving like crazy right now. Power up. There we go, there we go. Yeah, he doesn't have a traditional traditional block, so he can't really do much about that one. Whoa! Alright, yeah. Gain distance. Power up. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, that, that explosion can still hurt me. Gotta be careful about that. Power up. Yeah, no, I, I'm realizing that Ninjara can't really block against the uh, rapid fire rush that the uh, boxing glove style arms um, allow. So there we go. So far, so good. Have I lost a round other than against Springman? Because if that's the case, then I'm kind of disappointed in myself for not restarting so I can try and fight Springtron. Either way. Mechanica. I'm okay with fighting Mechanica on B-Ball. Match 6, pressing on. Let's change it up and play some V-Ball. The rules are simple. Hit the ball over the net. Oh, and the ball will explode after a bit, so watch out for that. First to five points wins. Now get out there and show and show some hustle. All right. Yep, we're going to we're just going to stick with the with this arm combination because I like this arm combination. Oh no! Mm. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, uh, that might do it! No! Come on. There we go. Okay, got it, got it. Let's just try not to make this a, uh... A draw. Oh 
Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, that was lame. I did get caught in the corner, so... I suppose I shouldn't have been leaning on the same strategies as I have been. I actually wonder how, like... Ah, come on! Nuts! There we go, got it! Use her own, uh, use her own set. There, jeez. <laughs> okay, the one time I had to restart or do a rematch is because of freaking V ball. Stick with fighting, Max Brass. That's what you're good at. Oh, Lola Pop, here we go. Match seven, shred the competition. It's Max Brass versus the sucker puncher, Lola Pop. Years, of a, years as a street performer have honed this clan's ability to bounce around and confuse her opponents. But what's perfect comedic timing compared to perfectly massive punches? Um, you'd be surprised, especially with that clapback of hers. That could spell disaster for me. Here we go. Power up! Beautiful, got the knockdown. Yeah, like that! Mm. Okay, got it. Power up! Gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Ah, she got past that. Nice. Power up. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't just throw my punches willy-nilly because, like, because of how that clapback works. Okay. Lollipop's proving to be uh, the challenge right now. Oof. Get over here. Mm. Whoa, nice grab. Mm. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, managed to get her. There we go, there we go. That was a little close. Yeah, her her clapback has actually been the one that's giving me problems, and now she has double clapback. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Power up. Mmm, lay up like that. Oof. Wait, are her clapbacks explosive? Oh wow, oh wow. Okay, okay, Lola Pop. Calm down a bit. Power up. Ugh, I love this music too. There we go, okay. Oh, man. Okay, got the grab. Boom. Keep it. Keep the power up. Uh-oh, I think that... Yeah, that explosion was gonna get me. That was really bad on my part. Okay, not bad clap... Uh, not bad clap... Clap back. Not clap back. Um, Lollipop. 
All right, yeah, that, that clapback is really giving me issues. And I just realized that it's not her clapback exploding, it's the fact that uh, my, my nade is explosive. So I gotta be careful there. Okay, there we go. Got her on the explosion. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Power up. Ugh. There we go. Power up. I'm surprised she didn't attempt to block that, but I'm not going to complain. There we go. Okay, get her away from me a little bit. Got her. There we go. Okay. Oof. Careful there. Oof. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. You are giving me a fine challenge, Lola Pop, and I appreciate that. Oh, jeez, that, that's not going to be enough to kill me, is it? Okay, no, it's not. There we go. And I broke her arm, and the explosion takes her down! Way to go, Max Brass! I'm sorry, Lola Pop. Dude, yeah, like, I see why this guy's... I, I see the reason why this guy's really good is because of that super armor mechanic and just... His arms are really good because, like, they're heavily damaging, but they're also quick. Alright. Oh, this... She might prove a bit of an issue because of her airspeed. Match 8. Feel the burn. It's Max Brass versus the Eris Ribbon Girl. Don't sleep while she's jumping around. No air dash dive bomb and... Sh one air dash dive bomb and she's up in your face. Will acrobatics be enough to face the pure muscle, or will the commish bring her back down to earth? Surprised I was able to keep up with all that text. Alright, here we go. Power up! There we go, beautiful, beautiful. Use that super armor to your advantage, Max Brass. There we go, there we go. Power up! Hmm. Ooh, that explosion. Okay, careful. Beautiful. Okay, keep the power up. Oh, that electricity. Okay, good. Oof. Yeah, he does say that's hot whenever he gets hit by a flame attack, it seems. Oh, no! Mm. I still might be able to win. I have, a I have the comeback mechanic. Here we go. Good, good, good. Mm. Oh! Okay, that was good. That was really good. Well done, Ribbon Girl. Very well done. All right, let's keep it up. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having a lot. I'm having a really good time right now. Let's keep this up. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Power up. Ah, I tried to avoid it and then block, but that didn't work. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Whew. She is really giving me a run for my money right now. Wow! 
Okay, she got hit by that bomb, so that might... That hopefully might make make up for the situation! Oof! Okay, she didn't get the full combo, so... Oh no! The electricity! Okay, okay, well done, Ribbon Girl. Well done. Ah! I was really afraid of her using that super. Nuts! Alright, alright, shake it off, let's try it again. Wow! Okay. Yeah, Ribbon Girl's pr proving to be the, uh, to be the difficult one here. I am at level 6, but I imagine that part of what makes Ribbon Girl good against, uh, Max Brass is that airspeed that she has. So, I gotta take that into account. Nope! Oh, man! Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm having trouble here. Level 6 difficulty. Man, imagine the difficulty once we get to level 7. That's gonna be torturous. There we go. Okay, okay. Mm. At least I get to listen to this awesome music. There we go. Got the explosion off. Ah! Okay, I'm still quite ahead, so... There we go. There we go. Use the super armor. Beautiful. There we go. Ah, yeah, that electricity, though. Fully charged. It's gonna mess me up. Really? Okay, power up. Ugh, that fire. There we go. Got her. Oh, man. That... That took a little bit, that took a little bit of effort, but I got it. And I have a super for the next round. Let's see if I can pull it off, though. Oh, wow, she starts off with a grab. Great. There we go. Keep the power up. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, she also has a set of arms that are able to deal with Max Brass pretty effectively because, like, uh, most, most if not all of them, like, take out super armor in some way. Okay, power up. There we go. Okay. I think I got her number now. Yes! Okay, okay. Yes, there we go, there we go. Power up. Yes, there we go, there we go. Yeah, baby! There we go! Oh man, that took some effort, Ribbon Girl! Jeez! Yeah! Was that match eight or was that the semi final? No, this is the semi final. Oh, geez, we still got a whole thing to get through. Against Twintel. Oh boy. Max match nine, defend your title. It's Max Brass versus the Silver Screen Queen Twintel. Of all the major media outlets from around the world are here to cover her fight. They've even got the- they even got crane cameras. I just hope they're getting this in high def, cause it'd be a shame to lose even one pixel of those muscles. I- I think we got the camera on the wrong dudes here, Biff. Here we go. Ooh. 
Ooh, that aura is gonna be a problem. There we go, okay, okay. There we go, power up. There we go, good. Power up again. Mm, not bad, not bad, not bad. Ah! There we go, power up. Ugh, that wasn't very good. Ah! Oh, that's gonna hit me full on. Jeez, that did a lot of damage. Aha! Force her to get hit by that. Good. Power up. Oh no! Oh! Ah oh, no! It wasn't enough! I managed to get that one last thing out, but it wasn't enough. Nuts! Alright, let's keep it up. She's going double chilies now. Nope. All right, good. Power up. There we go. Yeah, that's the thing about that that's the thing about Max Brass that I personally as a player am not used to is playing a bruiser. Cuz he's very much a bruiser. He can like the whole point of him with that super armor mechanic is that he takes uh, that he can take on some damage and then dish it back out, but um, the trades often make it so that they take more damage than he does. That's the whole thing with this, and I gotta I gotta remember that. All right, there we go. I should be able to beat this without having to use a super, and I can save for the next round. There we go. Bingo! Got it! There we go. Okay. Just gotta play a little more defensively. Can't get too aggressive. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Lock. Good. There we go. Oh, wow, we both knocked each other down. Okay. I'm trying to force her to, to send out a punch so that I can use a super with proper timing, mind you. There we go. She's doing a really good job uh, defending herself from my from my attacks. There we go, got the knockdown. All right. She's got her super as well. I got to be careful there. Okay, good. I got the explosion. Okay. Good, good. Power up. Good. And that should do it, baby! Yeah! Sorry about that, girl, but I gotta move on. Yeah! I really enjoy Max Brass a lot. I really like his mechanic. 
Whew, all right, here we go. Uh... Hello? Oh. So yeah, that just happened. So there was a doppelganger. But this is what happens when you're at level six or higher. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Dr. Coil. What just happened, folks? It's okay, stay calm, stay calm. I can't believe it, the commish was knocked out cold. But wait, I'm looking at Max Brass right now. I knew it, this guy's no Max Brass. Well, I guess he is a Max Brass, but not THE Max Brass. That regional tour business so did sound pretty fishy. Luckily, Dr. Coyle's here to take care of business. Time for the fake commissioner to get a whooping from the lab, from the real director of Arms Labs. So we're playing as a, so we're the imposter. Are we? Or... Huh. What's going on here? Well, either way, we're fighting Dr. Coyle now. And she's tough. Here goes. She, yeah, she's got a couple of really heavy arms that, like, are really good uh, for, um, for head-on fights. Oh, so she floats. Oh, I got the knockdown. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Also, this music is rocking. I love Dr. Coyle's theme. All right, get the super off. Get some health back. Power up. Beautiful, beautiful. Ugh. This is proving tough. This is proving tough. There we go, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. If we can get the super off. Yes. Yeah, baby! Way to go, Max Brass! Got that one punch out just before she hit her super. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's keep it up. Bring it on, Dr. Coil. That's right. She can grow a she can grow another set of arms just like just like a headlock. Yeah, M Dr. Coil has quite a few gimmicks. Like she can turn invisible, like she can float. She is easily one of the more complex characters, but in the most straightforward way possible. It's actually kind of interesting. There we go. Okay, power up. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep up that pressure. Whoa. Block it! Excellent. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Power up. Yes! Power up again. Lovely, lovely. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ugh, didn't get it, but that's fine, that's fine. I can still win this. Ugh, nice one, nice one. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Way to go, Max Brass! Yeah! 
Oh man, I love I I love Dr. Coyle's fight. I love Dr. Coyle's theme. I love fighting Dr. Coyle. She is unbelievably fun to play against and probably just as much fun to play as. So, let's see what happens. And just like that, Dr. Coyle has been defeated. I almost feel bad for her. Poor thing can barely stand. Uh That's not Headlock, is it? Could the Doc have summoned him here? No, she wouldn't dare. Oh, she dare. Oh, she dare. Then again, she hasn't always displayed sound judgment when it comes to arms. Either way, it doesn't look like the Grand Prix is over just yet, folks. Oh my lord. Let, like, look at, look at that design. Here's the thing, we've been fighting Headlock when Max Brass got taken over, but this is different. Dr. Coyle's refusing to admit defeat! I've got a bad feeling about this, people! It's not a stretch to say that the Doc's devoted half her life to studying arms. She's totally obsessed! Her pet projects, Helix, Headlock, Springtron, the Potty Crash program, were all a part of her research. But research for what? To become the ultimate arms champion? Even if she has to use Headlock to do it? Good luck, Mass Brass. Even an imposter is better than a mad scientist. Ladies and gents, if you're not packing, if you're not panicking, now would be a good time. Alrighty then. Here we go. Yeah, Headlock actually becomes a lot harder now that she's now that he's actually attached to Doctor Coil instead of instead of Max Brass. This is not gonna be easy. Here we go. Okay, there we go, there we go. Because now he floats. Uh, he can use, like, more powerful arms. Oh, boy. Like, look at this nonsense! Got it, got it. And you can hear Dr. Coyle's theme uh, mixing with uh, Headlock's theme now. Nope. Okay. Avoid that. Good. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, good. Can I get a super on her? Beautiful, beautiful. Power up. Ugh. Okay, that hurts. Ugh. Power up. Yeah, baby! Way to go, Max Brass! Alright, there we go, there we go. Wow, I, I actually managed to get this. Oh, boy. I might have he headlock down pat, but at the same time, this headlock is a lot more, is a lot different than, uh, than the headlock we're used to fighting up until now. Okay, yeah, you are not pulling that super off. I got your number, Headlock. Yep, use the super armor. Power up! Here we go, here we go. Oh! Yes! Power up! Yes! Got the super off thanks to the super armor! Here we go! I think we can do this! Yes! Max Brass for the win! I'm number one! That's how we do it, people! Yeah! Ladies and gents, Dr. Coyle's down again! Even in a headlock state, she couldn't pull out the win! What's going on here? Ah, the light, it's blinding! Doc, are you okay? Hmm? 
I never knew you could just pick that thing, pick up that thing off with a bare hand. Whoa! Now come on, don't take your frustration out on your own creation. Ugh. What? Now where's she going? <laughs> no, it's the Kamish. Hey, Kamish, over here! What can I say? The guy knows how to make an entrance. <laughs> Though, he should probably learn how to stick the lint. Eh, who cares? This is Max Brass, people. He never fails to impress. Looks like things are finally quieting down. So let's get this show on the road. That was fun. Oh my god, Max Brass is awesome. Look alive, people. The award ceremony is about to begin. Let's take a look at the final results. I'd say we did pretty darn well, wouldn't you say? Now that's a score worth celebrating. Could a new arms legend be in our midst? I'm an old one. Though, I guess I'm the imposter in this case? It's weird. Get ready to go crazy! And the winner of the arms Grand Prix and your new Grand Champion, the Kamish Max Brass! I knew you were the real Kamish all along. Congratulations! So, which one are we here? As another Arms Grand Prix draws to a close, I'd like to thank all the competitors and the fans at home. See you next time, folks! So are we the real commissioner or are we not? S someone help me out here. Well, either way, that was fun as heck. So yeah, there we go. Not only were we able to beat level 6 with uh, Max Brass, there you guys have it. That's what happens when you, when you fight in this difficulty, is you fight Dr. Coyle instead. Look at that. He just has a collection of championship belts, apparently. And the guy always remembers to drink his milk. Whoo boy, that was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play ARMS featuring the arcade mode. So, that was our first look at level 6 difficulty. Where we fight Dr. Coyle instead, and she takes on Headlock. Or puts on Headlock, I guess you could say. But... That's going to be the situation from here on out. So, in the next episode, we're going to be tackling the, the uh, Level 6 Grand Prix with one of my favorites in this game, Lollapop. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are actually kind of surprised by the fact that I love this girl. Like, I actually think Lollapop is amazing. Because, um, yeah, like, Lollapop um, was my main, as I mentioned before, along with Springman, Ribbon Girl, and Twintel. Though, honestly, I might add Kid Cobra and Mechanica to that roster. I like Min Min, I do, but she doesn't quite gel with me. This girl managed to win me over, this kid managed to win me over, and not gonna lie, Max Brass is a lot of fun. I don't see myself maining him anytime soon, but eh. But, next on the next episode, it's clown time. See you guys then.